Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Twitch, baby. Let's go. We're here. We're here. Rise and shine, everybody. Um, let me just switch over to the right chat, just so I can see all your lovely face. Well, not faces, but and not lovely. But um, let's see your chats, ladies and gents. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good time so far. This is. Yeah. Oh, we'll talk about the Big Brother thing. We'll talk about that, don't you worry. <laughs> um, so, welcome everyone. Just going to read through all the updates. So, update on the Big Brother saga. Uh, welcome, Doctor Who Mania 2024. Hooligans, Doctor Master, Trippy Intellect. That's per. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, where are my glasses? Oh, yeah. That, um, the uh, intro sequence, the, that sort of title thing, isn't even in the same flat anymore. So that needs to be, v well and truly needs to be updated. And that's fine. That's actually fine. I, I will do that at some point. That is on the cards of things that I need to update. Just haven't got around to it yet. I want to do like a proper outro to the streams as well. Because I feel like I haven't got any proper outros yet. It's not very seamless. Um, I've definitely got a lot of ideas. Just not the time to fucking do them, unfortunately. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday so far. Hopefully we can make it a little bit more exciting and a little bit better. Um, no, no, that's never me sitting down. That's always been pre-recorded. That's always been pre-recorded. I'm usually sat scrambling around while that time is counting down, trying to plug things in. That's always been pre-recorded. Hence, yeah, it's always been the same. It's the same every single week. Yeah, I don't, I don't have my, my the hair length as well. Think about that. <laughs> that was recorded like, I want to say like over a year and a half ago. I think it's very old now. Um, it needs updating desperately. But anyway, who gives a fuck about that? Because we're here to play Alien. Now, if you're in the Discord server, you may recall that I said actually earlier this week. I said um, that. Oh dear. <laughs> I said that we'll not be doing any more Alien this week because I've moved the Xbox out. However, the game that I was going to play, uh, I moved out of the room. No, that's the wrong... <laughs> Use your fucking words, George. Um, the game that I was going to play, I don't have installed. And I haven't even got it out of the box. And I thought, that's probably going to take a while. Because it's a more modern game. I'm walking in Heaton Park in Presswich okay, in Salford. It's one of the most beautiful parks. In Presswich, in Salford. I've been coming here since I was a kid. In Presswich, in Salford. It really is a beautiful place and it's covered, covered in shit. Shit, 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 shit. Covered in shit, 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 shit. People who have picnics in Presswich, in Salford. Leave their used nappies on the floor in parks. There's shit everywhere. In Presswich, in Salford. It really is a disgusting place and it's covered. Covered in shit. Shit, 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 shit. Covered in shit. Shit, 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 shit. Covered in cold bottles, wrappers. People who just foul it up. And I tell you what, I hope nature takes its revenge on you. Every single one of you that leaves shit, I hope the planet turns round and shits on you. Shit, 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 all right, cool. Here we are. So we're back here um, again. If you've got any sort of questions or anything like that, you're more than welcome to throw them my way. Basically, yeah. Um, the game I was going to play isn't installed, so I thought we'll do one more Alien. We'll we'll wrap it up with one more. This will be the last Alien stream we do for a while. Um, and it's the, uh, October. It's the first of October today, which is fucking sick. Um, and it means. <laughs> I think we're probably going to do that next week. I think next week is probably going to be one of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. I think it's probably going to be Sister Location. Because it's the one that we didn't do. Well, the one of the two we didn't do. And it's one that I just haven't played since it came out. So I thought that'd be fun. Um, um, yeah. And then we'll play some more random horror games throughout the month. And then towards the end of the month, I believe, we'll try and start a brand new playthrough. So you'll have to wait and see whatever that is. But... That'll be a lot of fun, hopefully. So let's uh, stick in with that and we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah. Um, 
It's just the location will be really fun. I like that's a, again a five to phrase game that I haven't done in a while, but yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, because we were fucked last time. Remember, because we were fucked because this guy like killed us, and I couldn't find a good way of fighting off the alien. I don't know if you guys remember this from last week, but this was a fucking nightmare. But this will be the last time we do it. Where do I need to go? In this room? I'm in the right. Oh well. Big Brother. Okay. Um, so, if you were here last week, you might remember the wonderful Trippy Intellect, who's a, uh, a GB shared on Twitch regular. Um was very very kind in offering actually his ticket to go to the audience thing um and it almost worked almost worked i actually i actually looked at all the things all the terms and conditions and all that sort of thing and it just about looked like realistically we're gonna need like id proper id to really show it and it was looking like even though it's around the corner from me that if i went it's probably not gonna work and i'm probably not gonna be let in um, and yeah, so I, t I talked about it, I talked about it with my, with my girlfriend, tried to plan what, what we wanted to do with it and see whether we were going to do it, because we are going to watch it anyway. Um... There he is. Um, but I, we looked at it and we just thought, I think we'd rather have a really chill evening in and watch it at home or live on TV. Which I think is fair enough. We were really sort of like, we were really thinking about it and really going, what do we want to do and what what is the best one for us? And we decided we just wanted to sort of watch it from home and, and we'll not take the risk because the likelihood is, looking at all the rules and how strict they are, we weren't going to be let in. So I, a massive, huge thank you to Trippy Intellect for even trying. A real massive sense of appreciation from me, honestly. Like, I, a really, really sweet, very kind thing to offer. And we almost got it. And uh, if we had, it would have been amazing. But I I'm give you sorry, credit anyway because, yeah, we almost did get it. But, hey-ho, it's... I've now got the website. I'll sign up in the future. I'll be good. In the meantime, we're going to get fucking evacuated from a ship here. I wonder if this is the end of the game anyway. It probably isn't, but I'm sort of like, I wonder. I wonder if we're close. The alarm sound in Alien is so scary, man. I also got told, apparently, that you can play Alien Isolation in VR. So don't be surprised if we try that at some point. That is definitely on the cards. I'd love to do some VR stuff. I've got my VR kit now, and I've got a lot of room in this room. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Hide in here. That's a good idea, George. Does he know I'm in here? And there's a VR game that someone on Discord is trying to get me to play, which I may well play, which I may well play. So we'll we'll see about that. But it depends.
This is definitely the way to go, in it? Okay, time to go. Ah! Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! I'm coming! Well, it's... Uh, uh. Oh god. That was a very bit of a weird cut. Uh, I did hear about the Harry Potter show. This is so disorientating. I wouldn't do this in VR. through that that was pretty cool um yeah i i would be a bit disappointed but also you just have to just bear in mind that like being involved with harry potter doesn't necessarily equate to transphobe i will not watch a harry potter show personally i can't see myself doing it and if i was to watch it i honest cards on the table if i was to watch a harry potter show i would do it in a way in which it wouldn't put any money in J.K. Rowling's pocket. Because I really strongly disagree on her personal views. And her personal views. Her radical fucking attacks on trans people daily for the last however many years. Um, I hate her. I hate her. I hate everything she stands for. As it's currently in politics. So I, I disagree with giving any sort of money that lines her pocket. However... It's trying to disassociate Harry Potter as a brand from her. And I'm sure Warner Brothers are trying their absolute hardest to pull away from her. I just wish she'd sell it. Because as soon as she sells it, Harry Potter can be sort of enjoyed again. Um, but whilst it's still associated directly with her, and it's putting money in her pocket, no one will support it. If she sold it to Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers would do so much better with Harry Potter. They'd be able to do spin-offs, they'd be able to do shows. It's held in a corner by someone the person who wrote it who happens to be an arsehole and not liked by a lot of people whatever your thoughts are on her um mine are quite strong i have i have my my standards so i, I don't i'm not gonna not like capaldi if he does a harry potter show because there's a big disconnection there and in industry he's offered an acting role which sounds like a really exciting position and you know i, he'd be, I think he'd be great in the role you know, I think it'll be, it'll be kind of cool. But I don't like, like, I just, I just don't like the person who wrote these books years ago and has rights to it. But the project isn't being written by her, I don't think. It's not being written, it's being written by other people and, and put together by a team of creatives who are passionately hard working on this. And yeah, we'll see. Can anyone hear me? Ripley, is that you? Yes, wait. Me, you son of a bitch. You locked me in. You flew the lab into space. I had no choice. No choice at all. You saw that thing. You saw what it could do. I had to get it off the station. By any means necessary. Motherfucker. Yeah. Use me as bait. <laughs> I mean to die. And it goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing. Jettisoned it into the gas giant. The station's safe. There's that. And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. I'm heading back to the bureau. We can discuss your methods there. Ripley out. God damn. 
There's not one specific thing that J.K. Rowling has said. It's it's a long time coming over a long period of years, and she is effectively a figurehead for like be just uh, opposing transgender people existing and just fucking having their life, basically. Um, and it's created a stigma in the media, which has been now brought into politics to such a significant degree. And as you know, we've got people being, you know, trans people being fucking murdered just for being who they are. It's a fucking disgrace, frankly. But and Jake everyone is not directly responsible for that, but she is a, one of the most important people in that conversation at the minute because she was one of these people, one of the first big celebrities to talk about it, and especially such a negative light. So yeah, the fact that instead of making her legacy about this wonderful series that she wrote and was very, very successful off and created such a big thing for, her, she will be known for being that person, that transformed person or that turf person or whatever. That's her legacy. And as time goes on and it becomes more accepted in society to be transgender, it will be... It, she, she'll just, it, it will just age horrendously. Like, her... What she stands by. And that's... Here's what it is, but... Yeah. It's all personal beliefs. I'm not going to knock anyone for personal beliefs, but I like I don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't feel comfortable supporting or putting money into her pocket. Really. But that's just personal preference, and I know a lot of people get that, and it's a lot of people's reasons as to why they don't support Harry Potter-related items, because that puts money in their pocket. So I completely get it, and I'm exactly the same with the Harry Potter series. Um, I have no idea what if I'll even watch it or if I'll even go anywhere near it ever, but we'll see. But yeah. It's not one specific thing that's been said. It's very much like a various number of things. But it's just, if you look at her Twitter account, that's all she does now is talk about trans people just living their lives. You know, Maggie Smith died. You're one of the more perfect actors from Harry Potter. A lot of people send her tributes throughout the world. J.K. Rowling couldn't really muster much to say about it, but she could muster a lot to say about her MP friend, Rosie Duffield, who recently quit the Labour cabinet. It's very odd. She's a very odd woman. We'll not get too much into politics, though. It's just my, again, it's just my opinion at the end of the day, and we're here to fucking play games and have fun. So, this has got to be it, hasn't it? How the fuck do I... What do I do with this? Do I have to go somewhere else? Oh shit, I didn't even see this fucking guy. Shotgun! God damn. Not loving that he's been shot in the fucking head. Is the only that I'm a bit worried about, but okay. I know the key card was required for this. Cool, I've got a shotgun though. Love a shotgun. Dun, dun, dun. All the dead bodies is kind of morbid. So the alien's been flushed off into space, yeah. For the time being. I'm sure we'll see him again, though. Eerily quiet, isn't it? Eerily quiet. Savers game. Do you, anything you really want to see released from Doctor Who? Um, I'd like to see a proper trailer for the Christmas special sometime soon. But it's, we're in October now, and the Christmas special's coming out in just over two months. I wouldn't mind seeing a trailer for the actual Christmas special. Some more information about it. I know we're probably a little bit far away from it, but still, it would be nice. Been weird watching Doctor Who on Christmas Day again. I know we did it like last year, but it's still still strange because it feels like we haven't done it in ages, consistently. Yeah. 
a lot of fun. No thanks to wait. I know it won't happen, but I really want to hear stuff to time more series. I'm of the opinion that I think it's 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 done now. I think it's like I hate to say it, which sounds. It's done now. That's really weird that she just said that. Forget it. You got. I just think that it's. I'll see you back. I it's done. Yeah, I understand. No one's asking you to jump on a bandwagon, my friend. It's absolutely, completely fine. Um, but the fact of the matter is that it has been a case, at least from what I've seen, like, I've seen uh, tweets and news articles from her over the last however many fucking years, um, basically mostly talking about trans people. And it's never in a, a light which is accepting or welcoming to them. So, yeah, I, I take issue with that personally. Everyone has different standards as to what's acceptable to them. It's just that I, that's where I, like, I draw the line of, I can't find, find a specific example of something she said, but there's plenty of them over the years. But it's odd. You can always tell when you go to someone's profile like that. Or hey, over there! Take a look around. You're outnumbered. Look alive, people. I don't know this one. Um. You look just just take one look at her Twitter and have a scroll. Like everything is about that. Got this female boxer uh, at the Olympics. That whole fucking debacle. I mean, there's a lawsuit being filed towards J.K. Rowling because of it, because of some of the lies she was putting out there, which was fucking defamatory. It's fucking weird, man. It's like she used to be a, a, a like a prolific, talented, and well-known fantasy writer, and now she's more known for this. And I think that says it all. By people who agree and disagree with her, this is what she's most known for now. And I think that's a shame, honestly. Because she had a lot more going for her than that. Perhaps not up your alley. I like the idea of doctoring your makeup line would be cool. You can see some corpse bride like and Beetlejuice and get that sort of stuff. Yeah, that could be kind of interesting. Yeah, Doctor Who, like, Wii remotes and all that sort of thing. It's just like, you've got all these things. I'd love to see, like, a universal remote released again. We haven't had one of them in a while. That's pretty cool. It's kind of fun, but it's what it is. Certain things sell well, certain things don't, and that's fine. But yeah, well, let's. I reckon let's leave the fucking J.K. Rowling stuff there. Because it's a fundamental, it's a very, very tricky issue to dance around. And the thing is with these things is there's no right or wrong answer. There's just only, like, opinion and what you find acceptable. And, like, I personally am very, I have very strong feelings regarding, like, the trans community. Because I know people who are trans and I've got family members who are trans. And I, like, I don't want to, I don't respect some of the shit that's thrown that um thrown their way really Fire. oh that thing but yeah it's it's as i say it's a fundamental thing it's like i only talk from my experience and i'd rather not go into it too much, because I, I, I feel very strongly about it, and if we're not on the same page, we're not going to have a fucking political debate in a fucking live stream chat when we'll play an alien. Let's talk about Doctor Who merch instead. Um, hot Topic, get some cool stuff, TARDIS backpack, actually should have us. Americans have stuff, uh, met better merch recently, I've noticed. Yeah, they do have some pretty good merch, to be fair. I want to see figures released again, and I want to see fucking music released. It's the two things I want, and they're never fucking brought out. It's just like, yeah. Kind of puts me off a little bit, but it is what it is. I just want the music. And I want the figures, you know? That's what I want more than anything.
EMP mine. since I got here. No, this is new. They've left their posts. I just saw something in the public area that's not normal. Great. Watch your back. No, no. I'm absolutely fine to be political. I'm just going to put a, a line under it there. Um... That's kind of how she projects it. From my perspective, that's how she projects it, but a lot of the things she stands for and tries to block and tries to campaign against are things that, and from my perspective anyway, give trans people equal rights, basically. But it's, uh, yeah. Do I listen to Ethel Kane? I don't, I've not even heard of whoever that is, so. That's interesting. I feel so much more relaxed that there's not a fucking alien running around now. I feel like I can kind of enjoy the game a little bit more. an event. Wait, it's Ripley. What's going on with the androids? I don't know. What about the change in alert status? Damn it, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell I'm talking about. subs have gone up in price? Fucking hell. Have they actually? That's so fucking annoying. But it doesn't even, you know what doesn't make sense about that is it goes to me. So why, why the fuck, like, I haven't changed it. I have not touched it. Why is it not? I actually wonder. Can I change that? Is that something I can change, I wonder? Like, I bet, like... I'm just interested. I'm interested. What's the actual balance in your post descriptions? Descriptions... I wonder why that's... Hmm. Hot. Seems to still be there's no one here. If it's just a tier one, I guess that That's so weird then if they've changed it. I wonder why they'd do that. That's kinda of annoying because it kinda of puts people off from supporting the streams, which is a bit of a shame because that's kind of like Yeah, it is what it is. It's in KSI's No, he's not. Please tell me KSI is not a judge on Britain's Got Talent. That's just fucking ridiculous. Guest judge, if anything. No, he's fucking not. That's mental. Oh, God, please. Please don't be true. Then we're really just fucked, aren't we? It. TV Zone just tweeted it, a guest judge. Fuck's sake, man. Is TV Zone a good source? TSI joins the next season of Britain's Got Talent.
Oh, so he's a guest judge for some of the um, auditions. I, t- I tell you what, it's a smart move because I feel like it gets people... It gets people back into it. Do you know what I mean? But sort of like, he's not... Oh, he's a, at the end of the day, I get it. But also it's like, come on. It's fucking KSI, man. Love the guy a bit, but fuck me. It's like a, a mainstream TV show. It's like finally kind of jumping into that. He's just... i tell you what he's got. He's got fucking good agents. How the fuck do I restore power? Oh, it's through there. Ah, hello. Brings your younger audience. You're completely right. Younger audience. All the way. Oh, shit. Good job. Let the androids cook then. Okay, he's fucking dead. Okay, there, there. What? Is he an ally? I thought this guy was gonna fucking kill me. What the fuck? That's bollocks. Don't know about that. going on with the androids? I don't know. What about the change in alert status? Damn it, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. <laughs> Listen to more Charlie XCX recently. Brat Autumn and now in Brat Autumn. No, I've not actually seen it. Are there any androids in the film? Well, that would be telling, wouldn't it? Yes, there are, but... I'm not going to tell you where and who, but there are androids in the alien universe prior to this game, yeah. This game is very authentic to the films, in terms of like the aesthetic and the, the vibe and everything. Yeah, I love it. What the fuck? Hug away, man! Shut up. Did the guy shoot me? Did the guy shoot me? Oh, avoid a dangerous situation. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'd watch the films. Really, genuinely, I would watch the films. The films are great. I'd watch the first film. <laughs> Wait, it's Ripley. What's going on with the androids? I don't know. What about the change in alert status? Damn it, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. Not even sure what you're talking about, Dr. Master, but go In. Let's go. Right, let's see if we can do this this time. Where do I need to go from here, though? I can't go that way, can I? Wait, don't come after me, you prick. Fucked. Oh shit, bitch here. Fuck you. Thank you very much, Trippy Intellect, for the 100 bits. Oh fuck, I missed again. Oh, you prick. Oh, that didn't work. That's good. Bit of a waste then. Fucking out. Run.
There we go, you prick. You're fucked. So how the fuck? Don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. He's running off. Wimp. The music's really loud. I can't hear myself think. No, I don't think I have seen that meme. Um, the fuck am I going here? Ah, these things fucking lift, do they? Fuck's sake. That's bullshit. Let the off the leash. They're attacking Let me shot at now. I don't know what the hell this is. They're not just responding to trespass violations. It's like they're hunting. <laughs> For who? Okay, For this guy's getting anyone. fucking killed. I'll tell you that now. What do you mean? Stand by. Come on, you fuck. Have it! <laughs> hey, what the fuck? No! Where the fuck's this guy gone? Guy just standing there. Oh, I fucking ruined it. Didn't I? Motherfucking allies of civilians. I was being shot at. Yeah, I said we're, we're, we're not going on the politics angle. Also, the boxer was born a woman, so fucking leave it out. It's a massive politi uh, political debate, but the fact that people are being taken to court over uh, effectively what it is is online targeted harassment over it. I think it's best to fucking stay out of it, but yeah, let's leave it there. As I said about 20 minutes ago, we'll leave the politics to it, yeah? Wait, it's real. What's the going on? I don't know. I have. I've tried the Oreo flavor cork. It's fucking disgusting. Alan, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuel. It's genuinely horrible. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. How fucking horrible. Uh, it's, it's drinkable. I finished it, but it was not like nice. It wasn't, it wasn't a really fun experience. All right, time to cook. Ah, oh, I died again. I fucked it again. I fucked it again. I accidentally killed someone. My bad. It does taste like Oreos, but it's fucking weird, man. Bosh, thank you. I'm sick of doing this bit over and over. It's, it's What's going on with the androids? I don't know. We had one more flamethrower oil at one point, and I don't know where that's gone. 
Try to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. Hello, fella. Not me, not me, don't shoot 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 me. Don't shoot me. Attacking on sight. I don't know what the hell this is. They're not okay. just So now on the right level, I need to go through this door. Responding to trespass violations, it's like they're hunting. Ah you motherfucker, I swear to God. Help! Someone fucking help me, maybe? What the fuck is I swear to God? It does taste like Oreo, doesn't it? It's fucking weird. Okay, this cunt's getting shot. Fucked. Don't come at me like that, you prick. <laughs> Monster! Shot the whale. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bosh! Oh shit. That's it. Have it. Whew, okay, we got there in the end. Deserve that for locking me out with a prick. Find an alternate route, yeah, no shit. <sighs> Fucking hell. Can't go anywhere. Hmm. Where the fuck do I get there then? Through there. Whoever that was died. There. The stage of separation sequence is now complete. Thank you for your patience. Okay, what's the best option here? Flamethrower, revolver, shotgun. There's no reason to be shy. Come with me, please. There we go, four shots, that's what it takes. I haven't got many of them left though. Not using many of these other power ups, mine.
I'm going to pop to the toilet because I'm desperate. I will be back very shortly. Very shortly. Ah. Ah. Any chance you can send it to me and see what I think? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Discord server's linked in the uh, below this stream, so you feel free to join that, and you can contact me through that if you want. Um, I haven't got too much time. I'm, I'm very, very busy generally, but um, if I get a chance, I'll be sure to have a look. I'm more than happy to help where I can. Maybe I'm going the right way here. Okay. Or maybe not. Ugh, why is there nothing in any direction? It's really fucking annoying, actually. Any clues about what the next Nostalgia Bay episode is about? Well, we have our first ever guest on the podcast we recorded it last night it was a really good episode i'm really glad because you never know when you do something different and we did do something very different we've never had a guest on the show before it's always been me and cooper so to kind of do that uh was very new very different um not something we've been too open to trying a lot in the past so we were very happy with it very very happy with it uh, it was very exciting So yeah, um, I can't... Yeah, it's Doctor Who related. It's someone in the Doctor Who community who you'll probably be aware of or may or may not know of. Who knows? But um, it is someone in the Doctor Who community. I'm a bit stuck here, guys. Can't lie to you. But an alternative route, but I don't know where to find said alternative route. I have to restore power for them. Um, but yeah, someone in the Doctor Who community. Uh, someone who's been very cr uh, active in the Doctor Who community over the last few years, so... It's definitely one tune is worth tuning in for, I'll say. And if you are interested in checking out our podcast, you can find it linked below this live stream right now. Um, we are trying to grow as much as possible. Holy we're going to do a brand new episode every single Thursday since February. Well, uh, uh, so if you fancy helping us out and checking out the podcast, then you can do so by pressing the link down below and going to subscribe to us over on there. Fucking hell, this is getting annoying. Go, I'm off to work. I ain't telling you who it is. You'll find out probably tomorrow evening. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, Thursday morning, brand new episode. And as I said, it's a fucking good one.
We absolutely love it, Dr. Master. We love the, the memes and the live reactions to all the podcasts. We, me, me and Cooper read the Discord all the time, and it's a lot of fun. Any memes we get out of it, any things that people find funny or enjoyable is, is something we're absolutely just loving to see. I don't know where to go from here. I'm really struggling now because I don't know where the fuck to go. Don't comment on my YouTube video, but I always enjoy it. I appreciate that. We're very happy with... Just one that we use. Ooh. It changes, you know. At the minute, it's the Eccleston one. That's a pretty good one, but... I'm stuck here. I don't want to get stuck on the last one. Um, is there a channel on Discord where we could do a big brother chat and we comment during or after about it? Yeah, 100%. If there's demand for it, we'll do it. Fuck it. Um, hey, you're more than welcome to comment the same thing every time. We're more than happy for any comments. I'm walking in Heaton Park, and it's disgusting. Bowling it up. Shit everywhere. Where in the fuck am I supposed to go? I'm actually stuck here, man. I'm actually gonna have to cheat. Dun 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 dun. I just don't wanna like linger too long in the same way. Find a way back to come on, my bro. Okay, I'm going to go into the here then and go back up the staircase. That's what it says to do, so. I did fully give up. My thinking is more that, like, this might be the last alien stream we do for a while or maybe forever. This is, I want to just, like, not waste any time pissing about, basically. Just need a little bit of a hint to go in the right way. Ah, this bit fucking opens. I didn't even realize. God damn, okay. Getting a lot of, like, stuff here, which is really useful. Did you get Oasis tickets? I did get Oasis tickets, yes. I'm at work at 10 a.m. on Thursday, so I tend not to listen to Nostalgia Rate in one go unless it's one hour. It tends to be Thursday or Friday evening. That's absolutely fine. Some jobs allow you to sort of listen at work, some don't. That's why we release it so early in the day, just in case people want to listen to it on their commute or in their car journey, on their, their tube journey. Um, but we know it's not everyone's thing, so that's absolutely fine. But yeah, it's it's wherever you want to watch it. Always appreciate it either way. Okay, well, we've got a save point. That's something. No, my free view is not usually when it initially releases. That's always interesting. It's always interesting to know. I think it's always good to get it out at 10 a.m. and then it's there for whenever people want it during the day. Hello, you fuck. Come and have a go if you think you're hot. Oh, he's doing the stanky leg. Um, oh, he's coming. Okay. 
Oh, you motherfucker, you got me. Ugh! Why the fuck did he vomit on me? What was that about? What the fuck? Yeah, what do you, what do you, um... Oh yeah, we didn't actually do a thing about the banter merchant job, did we? What, um... Yeah, what do you listen, for those who are listening to the podcast sort of regularly, what, what do you listen on? Apple, Spotify, or do you go on YouTube? Because the video versions are available on Spotify and YouTube. Um, but the audio-only versions are available across every other podcast thing. YouTube, interesting. Spotify, YouTube, YouTube mainly. That's good. See, we're trying to grow the YouTube channel. Because I think YouTube is the one that we're... So we started with it being like, okay, it's Spotify only, pretty much. With Obviously, it goes to other things, but Spotify was our main one, right? Nowadays, we're very um, we're very keen with getting the YouTube off the ground, and it's doing amazingly well. We're really, really happy with it. And, and I, work with, um, I work with YouTube in my sort of sort of nine to five job so I, I get a lot of time with the platform and I'm able to I'm able to understand it quite a lot which I like um, it's just so it's, it's, it's really nice to kind of put that to use again because I don't really make much Doctor Who content anymore that's because I don't really want to honestly like I just I just don't enjoy it as much anymore and also the weird thing is that videos on Nostalgia Bit tend to do better than videos on my main channel. And with the subscriber difference like that, it's crazy. But that's just how the platform works. Yeah, Cooper's getting good at the old editing, man. Of course he is. He's done it 32 home. Well, actually, I'm editing this week. So he hasn't done it 32 times. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, it's me this week. Oh, no, no. But he was very new to it when we, when we started there, and that's... You'll be happy to know that he's improving. Oh, I remember this is the room I couldn't get into, wasn't it? Then the latest episode of the bus, honey, uh, bus journey home, God sent. Um, it's awful. I have to stand at the uh, stand at a stop for an hour and a, uh, for half an hour. God, I hate that. Well, it's really sweet that you guys are listening to the, uh, to the to the podcast, and it's glad you guys are you know connecting with it because it's very easy when a podcast starts to be like, oh, you know, avid listeners, and it's sort of a gimmick, and then and then you know you get it, once it sort of dies past that that sort of gimmick, if you will, um, that's when it starts to sort of you sort of see whether the podcast and the show has got legs, and it's nice to see nostalgia it does have legs because we're we're really enjoying seeing how it's doing on YouTube and stuff. I've just been through here, haven't I? Forget other dangers. They forget themselves. People are turning on each other for food. Have I not okay. literally just been here? I cannot stay here. So I greatly appreciate your channel when you're on a break from YouTube and I started watching your videos then and accepted you'd never return. So that anything is my forte now. <laughs> He's gonna fucking jump on me. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Well, whether you've listened or you've not listened, you know, uh, I see someone who hasn't listened as a as a sort of almost an aim to to get you into it. Um, and the thing is, I'm not a big podcast guy, so I, I don't like I don't consume any podcasts myself, so I completely understand it. Um, but that's the aim, isn't it? What would make you want to listen to our podcast? What would we have to do to make you go, okay, that's something I want to tune into weekly? You tell us that. And if something we can do, uh, something we can sort of play around with, we'll do it, you know? We want to make sure it's it's a 
and a, a show that appeals and that's how we that's how we learn we learn from audience if you guys didn't connect with it if you guys didn't watch it if you guys didn't give it any time of day it wouldn't exist because of that that the show exists and it, that's how it always tends to work so Not one for podcasts entirely, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Well, that's all right. Again, as I say, like I'm not a podcast guy myself, so it's completely valid. Um, so it's it's like completely your call of whatever whatever you're into. But if you don't like the traditional podcast medium of like long form stuff, we do post individual shorter, like ten minute, uh, five to ten minute clips on the YouTube channel. Uh, we've got another one going live maybe tomorrow, I think, um, which are just clips from the episodes. That you can tune into or mini swords sometimes as well. Um, we also do um, obviously our TikTok clips and all that sort of lovely stuff as well. So if you are interested in that, then that's another format that you can jump into. Rip. Rip, they're all dead. The android slaughtered them. How the fuck did this guy survive? Why the fuck? I don't know, but I think Samuel's does. Samuels. Why? Wait, sent him to access Apollo. I need to find him. Have you seen Taylor and Marlo? Um, no. I missed another comment as well there. Um, the Jordi era <clears throat> filming videos were like crack to me. The 2019 one with the Jadoon and then the edited Jordi and Tux. Ricardo, Loved it. <laughs> if I go after Samuels, can you run this place? Yeah, I've always had a lot of fun with the whole uh, editing I'm stuff. I'm fucking staying here. Ricardo, I'm uh, a bit and... Can you Who's there? The main ones I follow. Just feel like listening Ricardo. to people talking for a while, yeah. uh, for sure. a long while. Uh, I usually Sit zone down. out to, unless I recognise people behind Look me. After me. I'll come my back says I don't have staying power, as in my attention span is too short. But something like about yours makes me go away, come back, and finish it. I haven't missed a nostalgia bit yet. Well, that's really um, a huge compliment. We've made. A I'm walking in Heaton Park in Presswich in Salford. It's one of the most beautiful parks. In Presswich, in Salford. I've been coming here since I was a kid. In Presswich, in Salford. It really is a beautiful place and it's covered, covered in shit, 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 shit. Covered in shit, 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 shit. People who have picnics in Presswich, in Salford, leave their used nappies on the floor in parks. There's shit everywhere. In Presswich, in Salford, it really is a disgusting place and it's covered, covered in shit, 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 covered in shit, 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 covered in cold bottles, wrappers, people just foul it with shit. And I tell you what, I hope nature takes its revenge on you. Every single one of you that leaves shit, I hope the planet turns round and shits on you. Shit. I don't I don't actually listen to a lot of podcasts myself. I don't think I actually listen to any regular podcasts anymore. I used to. But it takes me a while and it's something that I'm aware of that. But my challenge as a content creator is I want to tap into this podcast medium and go, right, what is it that's not appealing me? What is it that doesn't appeal other people? And then go, what can we do with Nostalgia Bit that makes it a show that you, the viewer, want to watch? Do you know what I mean? That's the aim overall. I think I went the complete wrong way here, haven't I? Fuck's sake. Right. Right, No, I'm basically saying I understand the the perspective of coming at it from a person who doesn't like podcasts that much. Because for me, I don't like listening to podcasts. I don't listen to many podcasts. I only listen to a few. Um, well, I used to listen to a few. I don't really listen. I actually don't listen to any regular podcasts now. Um, I, saw, I, saw, I used to quite a lot. I've got a jacket. Oh, I've got a dress gown. I've got some Speak chicken. I've got some bread. Um, I've got a can of logger. I've got a fishing rod. Um, I've got meat fishing rod. 
and I'm willing to sit down and just shout, Murray, um, Gaza! So I don't listen to any. Just all I want to shout is, Murray, so Gaza, where are you? For, so for me as a content creator, my challenge is going, why don't I watch podcast why don't i listen to podcasts what would make me want to listen to a podcast as someone who doesn't really care for them and then that's what i want to do so you know if there's something about it that you're like mm, i'm not sure about that i'm not sure about that then it's sort of my job to want to get you on board and want to make it something that you would actually watch and would actually enjoy um that's my name overall so anything that you think that might be interesting that's sort of like oh i consume media in this way or this way it's like that's i'll take it i'll take anything but who's their podcast is the only one i kind of listen to yeah who's there's good who's there's good and it's been going for a long time it's longevity the call-in format of who's there is very good it's one of those ones i wish i'd come up with myself but didn't so that's fine um Yes, this is where I want to go. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I'd love to do it. Um. Do you follow Tailored Vision on occasion as well? Hello. Hello, mate. You alright? How you doing? Nice holiday. Um. What's your name? Mine's George. Hello. Oh, fuck, I'm in a corner. Bollocks. That was silly, wasn't it, George? Come on, you fuck. Don't be a silly bastard now. And number four. Oh, fuck off. You die after four. That's the whole point of you, you fuck. Oh, give the fuck over. Oh, I'm dead then, you fucking prick. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Um... What do you make of Newcastle lately in the league? Don't make too much of them. Um, they're doing good. They're doing good. And I'm happy with their performance, but we could be doing better. I was really impressed against Man City. It has, has to be said. Oh, brilliant. I have to do all this again. That's good. Why? Why the fuck? Um, yeah, I'm impressed. They're playing the FC Wimbledon at the minute. And we're winning. Wait, send him to Which is good. I need to find him. Have you seen Where are we at long? currently in terms of time? 86 minutes, and we're one on a penalty. Well, one. One nil down. Ricardo. Oh dear. Ricardo. Um, but in terms of the Premier League table, yeah, we're, we're smashing it. We're doing really well for Newcastle here. standards, and I'm happy with that. Um, Ricardo, I need you to do this. But honestly, I think it's one of those ones that. Ricardo. It's yeah, we're, we're doing well, but I, as a fan, I want to do I want to do better, and you can see the flaws that need to be fixed, and that's, that's absolutely fine. It's all part of being a football fan and, and following a team. Is you have to admit when you're not doing too well. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. I'll put my headphones back on now. Nah, mate. No one's there, man. Just fuck off, yeah? Oh, motherfucker, I swear to God. What are you doing? What are you doing? Zimbabwe! <laughs> um, I'm going down here anyway. Oh, Jesus wept, man. Oh, I missed him completely, fuck! <laughs> fuck off. That never works. There we go. Down you go, like a sack of spuds. They're coming down here as well. Okay, there's a quicker, easier alternative to this. Instead of coming with you, how about a lighter cigarette? Frick. Shame you can't feel pain, innit? Hey, what are you doing, you dick? No, I'm gonna hurt myself. Look at you, pal. Fuck 
fuck off, will you? Get away with us! How are you gonna set me on fire now, you prick? Get away, man! Get away from us! I'd rather not ask you about Sevastopol safety protocols from a man who's on fire. Fuck off, will you? How has he survived that? Bloody hell's bells. He's tweaking now. There we go. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> um. God. Oh fuck! No, hang on. Wait, 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 fuck off! Fuck! <laughs> Get it, what the hell, where the fuck did this cunt come from? Oh my word! Um... Voice of an angel. Uh, if Doctor Who li licensed horror game that was released on stream, we play it on Steam, on stream, um, like a weeping angel type one that isn't the edge of time or lonely assassins, a hundred fucking percent I would, of course I would. Of course I would. Doctor Who horror game would be fucking great. It'd be right on my street. I love a horror game and I love Doctor Who. Oh, piece of face. Would love it. I did see um, shooties in that song, yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Station serving the San Cristobal Medical Facility. I can see a potential terminals on the top levels of seasons and deaths. I'm not sure I can do this. Ricardo, I need you to focus. You're in charge now. We're in charge? In charge of what? A room full of dead people? This is fucked up! Focus, Ricardo. If Samuels can talk to Apollo, he can get the androids to stand down. Then this will all be over. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I haven't watched The Substance. I've heard everyone fucking talking about it, though. Annoyingly, it's like there's a bunch of films coming out that I want to see at the minute, and I've not been able to see fucking any of them. Still not seen the Alien film yet. Still not seen Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And probably won't end up seeing Joker, but I want to. Much easier to play this without an alien running around, isn't it? Control batteries are low. That's good. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I just want to check something. Whoop whoop. Oh, I heard some in there. Oh. I'm freaked out now. Look at that. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go. Oh. I've got a jacket, I've got a dressing gown, I've got some chicken, I've got some bread, I've got a can of lager, I've got a fishing rod, um, I've got meat fishing rod, and I'm willing to sit down and just show Morty and Gaza. Just all I want to show is Morty and Gaza, where are you? Hmm. This motherfucker's gonna jump me. I haven't got my speaker on. 
I didn't hear Gaza. Eight three eight two. Is anyone getting a bit of crackle from the um, audio? Because I am. It's a shame they never made a sequel to this, because this, this game has really helped. Wow! Um, this game has held up really, really well. Oh, that's terrifying. I hate lifts. Oh, lifts just give me fucking fears, man. Save point here somewhere. No point. That cunt's still alive. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, I'm not turning my back on them. Ricardo, I'm here. Looks like the place synthetics go to die. Skirless trucks someone who was younger in a foreign country and was halfway down the floors slightly open lights flickering. That is horrible. <laughs> oh god. This is terrifying. Any of them could be alive. Jesus. Yeah, we talked about this earlier with KSI being a judge. Not fun. I that's so fucking weird. Cooper all of it though. Don't like this level, this is quite actually scary. Hey, that room. Okay. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. I must have access to Apollo. Open the tower transit for me. Apollo transit reserved for six in executives and synthetics only. Right. Then I'll have to find a way to talk to Apollo directly. I am 
containment has a level of cap. All permissions rescinded. I don't have time for this. Jeez, I don't want to hear all this, man. I wear. No, I think he killed the robot. Am I supposed to go in here? Oh, fuck that. I'm telling you right now, fuck that. Nah. So I gotta go through there. If he's come alive, I'm throwing a fucking bomb. Just casually walking down. Actually, they are autons, aren't they? Although they're giving Weeping Angel at the minute. Nothing on there. What happens if I just... Okay, it is a showroom, they're not alive. At least not at the minute. <sighs> Door's locked. What am I supposed to do here? Ah, here we go. Wonderful. Motherfucker, I knew. That was the perfect one. That's the perfect one. Shit. Just run. Run so they can't find me. That's the king. Oh shit! Yeah, get fucked, androids, yeah? I just rewired a system. You're gonna get fucking burnt to death now. Come on, I'm fucking glass me like. It literally is like rose. God damn, we had fucking loads of ammo. Whoa! What the fuck? They got loads of shit in here. Oh my god! Let's go. I'm gonna have to save again when I've got all these things. Fucking hell, man. I find a, a thing. Flashlight batteries. Okay. M MP mine's a pretty good one. Just use my only one of those. Scrub. Nothing in there, but we've got a lot of ammo now, which is good. Just heal myself up a little bit. A Molotov, quite a few Molotovs, really. Hmm. Okay.
What I'm looking for is a key card, which I don't have. What's this prick had a key card on him? Nope. They ain't getting out of there. All scary noises, but you ain't getting out. Shotgun shells, pretty good. Oh shit, they actually got through. Okay, fuck, hang on. Uh, actually, fuck, to be honest. Okay. A uh, little bit fucked now. I didn't, I did not, uh... Oh shit, okay. Okay, dickheads. Uh, this is a, a bit of a scary one, I can't lie. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, yeah, fuck you guys. How's about that? Mmm. Yeah, I should have. Holy fuck. I should have been quicker, shouldn't I? How with the, uh. Yeah, he's dead. That's good. That's one. One revolver shot. Pretty good. Pretty good. Another one. Nah, okay. That's fucking annoying. Ah, hello, sir. Haha, <laughs> fucking hell. You wankers, eh? Okay, I think it might be time to get them in a small space and use a big fucking item of something, uh, like a pipe bomb. Or an EMP mine, there's three of those. Hello, baby girls! <laughs> ah, fuck, there's someone that weren't affected, that's not good. Get off me, you fucking big white bastard! Right, there's four of them still remaining. Uh, one more EMP mine, maybe? Hello, my darlings. Fuck you. How about that? This fucker's gonna get me. This fucker's gonna get me. Uh. Fucker. And this fucker's getting hit over the bastard head. There you go. Fucking dick head. How about that? Have it. Woo! Yeah, don't come with fucking between me and my shit, man. Come on. I still haven't found this bloody key card, have I? Oh, there it is. Fucking hell, George. So they actually did hold them back and they were supposed to come through. I quite like that, because I thought they weren't going to get through that. And they did. Which is great. Oh, he's got a key card as well. That's fucking annoying. Shit, you know. Yeah, do you reckon? Try me, bitch. Am I supposed to go to get this bastard? Okay. I don't need to go down there then. I 
I don't think this is my favourite game to start in Twitch. No, I don't think it is. I think it's one of the ones that people seem to have enjoyed the most. That's great. I'm really glad. This was just on a whim. I was like, oh, I fancy playing that again. Um, and yeah, here we are. Maybe I do need to go in here. It's fun. It sort of makes me want to finish it, but I'm sort of like... People seem to be really enjoying it, so the chances are I probably will be finishing it at some point. Because I don't think we're that far away from the end of the game now. I remember this level, you know. I do remember this. Not functioning. Great. What was that, Ripley? Nothing. Just more shit on the station. Fucking hell. The usual. That's why I went. I would want to jump down onto that. Okay. Just stacked it. So we're getting towards ten o'clock now, and it's like, oh, I kind of, I kind of need to wrap this up, but we're still in the game. I thought we might finish today, but I, I wasn't actually sure because I can't actually remember how bloody long the game was. Fucking hell, man. There's more we can do with this, though. There's also some DLC as part of this game, which is quite interesting. <laughs> the Molotov didn't actually do much, to be fair. Like nine and end of the world. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I've just had an android report to the APTC with head trauma. But he's covered in blood. Human blood. I've alerted the marshals, put my secretary someplace safe, and right now I'm headed for the transit. We're gonna get a working Joe to consult Apollo. Oh, fuck Maybe off, Joe's man. To blame for this. Off, man. It's so annoying. There's so bloody many of them, man. I set myself on fire, fuck. Accidental, oh fucking hell. Uh, all right, this will be, I think, the last attempt now and then we'll... Spedding in Android processing. We've got a situation. There's white on red casualties on station. I've just had an Android report to the APTC with head trauma. But he's covered in blood, human blood. 
Well, they can't get in the vents, can they? Here, yeah, fuck you. Oh, that's horrible. Uh... The good thing is this will get me away from the fucking androids, will it? Good thing we're getting quite far with this. Kablam man, yeah, that's that's the kind of vibe, isn't it? Okay. Get out of here. It's just a different room, different room in a different place. The Kablam Man would have been a good little permanent inclusion to Doctor Who, you know what I mean? Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Bro's gonna die. You know, there's no xenomorphs at the minute. We got rid of the only one, but there might be more. Who knows? Currently, this guy's going in a. Oh dear. Things. Jesus, Samuels, I'll try. Wait, you need to do it in the correct order. Oh God. Order, or the cascade will be fatal. Fuck's sake. I'm accessing seeks and schematics. Remove the red cable first. Okay, red first. This is red, isn't it? Right, this is red. Red done. Next, look for a blue cable. Can you see it? This is a great game, man, honestly. Like, the way they build the story is so good. Be this one. 
Shit. Open floor panel. This one. This one, this one, this one. Okay. Got it, Samuels! The last one now, Ripley. Yep. Fox, come on. Damn. What the fucking oh shit! Oh, he's dead. You die. You talk like I've had an actual life. I thank you for that. Samuel. It's weird, isn't it? How he sounds more like an android now. God. He's, yeah, he's dead. If you're there, pick up. He is an android. That's what he was doing. He was trying to reformat to get into the system. He's Samuels an android, but he's gone. not like a generic, boring android like the rest of them. Do you know what I mean? Like he's a. Transit for me. Okay. So what? I'm gonna go straight there. I'll get Apollo to lift the lock lockdown. Okay, where well, do I to go? Back over here. He was an android, yeah. He was an android that looked like a human. They exist in the alien universe. These androids are very, like, specific, weird ones. Nah, fuck you, bro. I'm running. Can't stop me, bitches. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck off, 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 fuck off. I just want to get through the level, you prick. Have it. Fuck off, man! You're so boring, bro. Can you can't get in here. Okay, well they're talking about safety protocols. I don't care about that shit. Can I throw like a fucking EMP mine out, maybe? Ah, you motherfucker, you weren't effective, were you, you prick? Fuck! Run, 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 open, 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 open. Oh, I fucking set myself on fire again. Fuck. Okay. Thinking we're done. Thinking we're maybe done now. I feel like if we load this and it's before the whole thing, before the whole thing. Oh yeah, okay, we're not doing this again. We've just literally just done all that whole thing. Okay, so, um, for avid Twitch fans, this is what's going on for the next few weeks. So, next week, we'll be back. We're not going to be playing Alien next week. We'll be playing something probably completely different. Um, very likely to be Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, sister location, but I will let you know in due course. Um, I thought that'd be nice. I think it'd be something a bit different. Um, it's October. We're going to be doing horror games all month. All month. So, don't you worry. We'll definitely be doing doing more similar sort of stuff. So next week, probably, says the location, Five Nights at Freddy's. I might encounter a VR horror game at some point that was suggested on Discord, if it works out and if it's something I can get working. Um, so we'll see about that. But we'll definitely be doing Five Nights at Freddy's. And then towards the end of the month, we will vote on what we want to do next. I had an idea. I had an idea to do... Uh, Last of Us 2, or Last of Us Part 2, or whatever it's called. Um, 
because I've got it. And I started doing these streams about a year and a half ago by playing The Last of Us. That was the first game I played, um, pretty much. So I thought it would be nice to come back round to that, especially now the new series is being talked about. However, it seems that a lot of you are quite keen on finishing Alien first. So Alien has been a lot of fun, and I'm actually really enjoying it anyway. And I feel that we're sort of towards the end of the story. It might be nice to... Um, Nice to give it a shot, really, and just kind of see where we go with it. Um, so we'll decide, but we'll not be doing any sort of linear story games until the end of the month. We're going to be doing something probably hopefully different every stream. Um, likely to be a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's because we haven't done that since last Halloween, and it's been a while, and there was a lot of fun last year. Um, and it's very sort of like easy to follow and watch and have fun with, and it's Halloween, so why not? Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated over on Discord, over on Twitter, all that sort of thing. Sometimes things can change last minute, so stay tuned. Um, in the meantime, obviously, we have a podcast which we've talked about relentlessly this week, um, which you can check out linked in uh, below the stream, over on YouTube and Spotify and all of the podcast networks. It's called Nostalgia Bait. There's a brand new episode every Thursday, and we've got our first very special guest episode coming this Thursday, which is very, very exciting. So... Definitely stay tuned for that one. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've got much else to promote or talk about, really. It's, um, I'm pretty excited about that. So, yeah, check it out on Thursday, Nostalgia Bait. If you haven't already subscribed on the YouTube channel, please go and do that. Uh, give us a bit of love. And if you want to watch some of the stream replays as well, we have a, a, a stream, GBC Streams channel as well, which is a completely separate thing. But basically, all the streams, to the best of my knowledge, that I'm able to... Um, get uploaded from every Tuesday. I'll be uploading them onto YouTube, little custom thumbnail and everything like that. But yeah, so if you want to go back and watch any funny clips, get any snippets and use them for memes or anything like that, or just rewatch them, uh, they're over on YouTube. So yeah, you can check that out as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll be back next week with a completely brand new game. Um, and yeah, see you later. Have a lovely week, and I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye bye.